Good glorious morning. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. In this video, we're going to go through 12 things that we think the boater would love to have in 2023. This is not your regular boating gear type stuff like give your husband an anchor. This is gift gifts for boaters. Things that we, we use and uh, yeah, we'd recommend. And stay till the end because we're going to show you one of Cindy's favorite new things for 2023. So let's get started. I'm Cindy and this is Shell. We sold everything and set off on an adventure, living and cruising on a boat named Seashell. Click subscribe and sit back as we show you that it's possible for all of us to live an extraordinary life. First off, a classic gift for Christmas for anybody really, but for the man in your life, if you want a nice scent for going to the beach, going to the pool, going to the tiki bar, you want something a little nautical, I bought this last year. This is Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Intense. I like it. This is a lovely scent, just yeah. bright, summery, fruity. Fresh. Can't go wrong with this. Yeah. As a backup though, for a, just a little bit more sophisticated, going out in the nighttime to a restaurant with your wife, you gotta get Blue de Chanel. Like I said, a little bit more sophisticated. Um, you like this one too, don't you? I like that one too, yeah. yeah. But I think the Intense might be... Slightly better. So if you had to go with one, maybe the light blue Intense. But this is, you know, just a classic ocean blue scent. Uh, you really can't go wrong with this either. Yeah, no. So these are my nice. two go-tos. And uh, Cindy has, I think, more of this stuff for me for this year, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> if you're looking for a gift or stocking stuffer, for ladies that really care about their skin and are looking for a good sunblock, my recommendations, and I use them all the time, is um, Tizo Ultra Zinc. It's mineral, reef friendly, vegan, cruelty free. Um, it's great under makeup as a primer, or you can get tinted and you can just, if you like no makeup, you could go with just this. Um, and then the other one I really love is the Color E Science. It's a flex, it's SPF 50, and it's makeup. It's, it changes to the color of your skin. You just put it on and it will cover your blemishes. And uh, it's just great. It's just um, sunblock, makeup, all in one. SPF 50, I have the medium color. Yeah. So these two I really love. I guess great um, for voters because we're out in the sun all the time. All the time. So you use lots of SPF and sunblock and um, I like these. These are for face. This one, the Tizo could be, um, is for all body, body and face. Um, yeah, it's the great, great products. So the next thing, if you want to look for something for your boating man in your life, uh, or woman really, because women do this too, would be a, a filleting knife. So I had one last year, I just bought it at Walmart, and it was not very good. I could hardly get it very sharp. But this year, Cindy has purchased me, it's not here yet, a Dexter filleting knife. So if you're looking for a nice gift for a fisherman, fisherwoman in your life, I think a nice filleting knife and the Dexter one might be the one to go with. According to the reviews, a Dexter filleting knife is one of the better filleting knives that you can buy. And we'll put all the links to everything that we're talking about Down in below. the description below so you can just kind of check it out. And the next thing I would recommend for the boater who likes ambiance lighting, I've purchased these cubes. We use them all the time. Um, they're all different shapes, sizes, and we keep them outside. So you just charge them, then you just put them wherever you want. Um, we have a large cube, which is a coffee table or a chair, and it lights up and it comes with a remote and you can change them all different colors. So you can have them Christmassy, red, green, any color you want. They last forever and they're like waterproof. They've lasted us a long time. Yeah, they've been out in storms. Yeah. And they, they blew off the table and they've been still working. They still go, yes. So they're a lot, they're, they're fun and... Um, 
yeah, they're just great for on a boat um, or anywhere, really. Yeah, I, I really think. like the big one because the big one we can bring into the to the bow of the boat in the nighttime to light up as a coffee table or sit on as an extra seat. Yeah. They're really cool. Well, I think that we've seen them like at restaurants and I used to pass the restaurants and they'd be all sitting on these seats and then I looked it up and I found these guys. And so yeah, these, these are rechargeable? And what, do you do? You ever replace the battery in this? It, I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's never gone. It's, no. You've got a rechargeable battery here that you don't, that you've never replaced. That's and right. it just keeps going. Okay. When they don't light up, I bring them inside, plug them in, and they're charged very quickly. So the next thing that I think everybody who, even if you're not electrically inclined, needs aboard a boat is a good multimeter. So I've had one that, um, you know, hasn't been all that great. So this year, you know, I have to trace down some straight current you're always gonna use a good multimeter. This one here is an Anchor True RMS 600 amp AC-DC digital clamp meter. So this here will, will test, uh, you'll be able to get amperage by putting it around wire, either AC or DC amperage. I bought one like this, just generic China brand last season, and I sent it right back because it didn't have the resolution that I needed to be able to, to test the things in the boat. This one here was purchased from Boat Gear USA, and that's where I'd recommend you buy it from. Digital clamp meter. The next thing that I really love and we've used on the boat so much over the seasons is the Aero Garden. And uh, I haven't set it up yet this season, but this is it, not set up. You can have fresh herbs. We've had, once we get it set up, it stays for three, usually three months and then you put in some more pods and you get another three months. But uh, we have fresh dill, cilantro, mint, basil, all those herbs that when you're in the Bahamas and you're anchored, you, you know, you just can't get. Um, but we have them all in our arrow garden. So we've been very pleased. This is our what? Third? Second? Third? This is our third season with it. It's great. It is a bit bright <laughs> at times, I suppose, but it's a great light. Great for ambient lighting. Ambient lighting, yeah. Yeah, your arrow garden will come on by itself and it'll, it'll turn off by itself once the lighting is done but um, and it's uh, no soil right it's no it's all just water oh yeah it's just water and it comes with a little plant food you give them every 14 days and um, so yeah I highly recommend the um, arrow garden we, we love ours and um, it's a great yes, I mean, a great gift idea after a couple months I mean things are coming out of it like yeah well you can do herbs you can do your salad so you'd have fresh we did salad as well and mm -hmm. that really grows quickly and you can just have fresh salads I mean it's it's a uh, yeah that's yeah, great for we, boaters, we really for like sure. it yeah. yeah so the next thing is something that I've come into in the last year or two and that is linen shirts what I have on right here this has been a game changer for me I used to wear just t-shirts all the time but since I found linen shirts I wear them all the time. They're better than a t-shirt. The wind just blows through them. If you're on a beach, you can open them up and let it flow. Beautiful. It's I a wear great gift to get the, the guys. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So if you're, if you're a guy where just has a bunch of t-shirts that he wears all the time, get them one or two white linen shirts. Yeah, they come at all price points, too. Yeah, yeah. I've got some from Eaton, which are expensive. i got some from Uniqlo, which are, you know, cheap. But $20, I think we spent for those. And yeah. I wear those a lot. They're out of stock, though. And uh, Spear McKay, I've got some middle tier ones from, from them. This is a Tommy Bahama one. So a couple of linen shirts, white linen shirts. I mean, it'll change your life. Really. You can't go wrong. I don't it's a wear, great gift idea. I don't wear t-shirts anymore. So, no, you don't. Yeah, yeah, any gift I get with a little bit of a linen shirt in it is perfect. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. Okay, another gift idea is ambience lighting again. So I would recommend these candles um i've got them on amazon uh they got seashells on them they come in a set of three they come with a remote so you can set it like five o'clock to come on like when it gets dusk and it'll come on then five o'clock every single day so let's say you're gone out you get back to your boat your candles are on and it looks nice and romantic in your boat when you return and you can choose to keep them on like for two hours, four hours. I keep them on for six hours. And it lasts, like the batteries last for like oh, almost all season. I might change it twice a season. And that's like 
a lot of months. So yeah. yeah, and the good thing is for boaters because there's no no flame. There's no heat. It's just a That's simulated right. flame at the top. We yeah. don't have to worry about any fires. No. And they, I mean, if you're if you're you know not analyzing it, it looks like a real flame flickering off in the on the table. Yeah, I would like it as a gift. So really? I thought, hey, maybe. That's you why would I bought them for as a gift. Ah. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna stick with clothes for a little bit longer. Uh, I found these last year too, and I've been wearing them ever since, and that is a pair of espadrilles. So this is like, you, you buy these and have them and use them like you would a boat shoe. So anywhere you would wear a boat shoe, you would wear something like this, but they're just a little bit more elegant than a flip-flop. So yeah. instead of showing your feet when you're going to the restaurant, pull on a nice pair of espadrilles and uh, I mean they're made of canvas they got I think what's called juke around the around the sole they got a, a gum sole on them just really light I love these be perfect gift for any boater okay so the next gift idea is for the hostess or if you like to entertain on your boat or if you just want to entertain yourselves we do that this, a lot. We do, yeah. This is the perfect gift, and I didn't keep it for Christmas. I was so excited. I just got it this week, and it's so nice. It comes in a beautiful box. It's already, like, easy to wrap for the person you want to give it to. And it's packaged very well inside. I, I thought it was done very well. Um, so it is a Nautilus charcuterie board and I will show you will show you sort of what it's like this is the Nautilus okay so it is um, it's just beautifully done I mean obviously you can just you know so many ideas to make it in the um, Nautilus shape it comes with ceramic bowls you can pull it open to make it even bigger it has a cutting board for the cheeses and inside is all of like knives, forks, little tags to put in your cheese and chalk to write on the sign. little things, on the little sign. Yeah. Anyways, we've, we've used it like already this week and we're going to use it probably again today for lunch for ourselves. Yeah. Didn't you say so, that they sand this thing like a hundred thousand times or something? A hundred thousand times, yeah. Well, I'll leave a link um, below and it's, it tells you all about um, how they're done. And, and you, they plant, and they plant like three trees when you purchase them for reforestation. Really? That's what it said. And I read somewhere too, only 80 made per year or something 80 like that. made? Yeah, something because of the trees, right? They care about the well, it's, a, it's a good thing we you purchased one early. Yeah. I so know. if you want yours, you have to get it real quick because 80 is not very many. Well, I don't know. I mean, not everybody's looking for a shell, I suppose. They they make all kinds of things. Dofira? Yeah, Dofira? For a boater, I mean, that's, that's but beautiful. For a boater, that's even it's, like a centerpiece on your table. Oh, if for a boater, it's a beautiful I mean, the wood gift. Is gorgeous, it yeah. is, yeah. It's beautiful, like for any gift, a yeah. wedding gift. A, but uh, yeah, if someone gave that to me. Someone did give it to you. I found it though. <laughs> I buy myself she... gifts all the time. So the next thing is something that we've done content on before, but we really like these and they would make excellent gifts for anybody. And that is an electric scooter. I mean, we've got two high boys aboard the boat right now that we use all the time, going up and get provisions and things like that. And you know, they're having great deals on high boys right now uh, before Christmas and they're coming in with new models it's just a, a, a ton of scooters that you can get from high boy so I'd recommend getting electric scooters yeah they're a lot of fun and uh, yeah of course we recommend that's that's a real nice gift that's a nice gift. Pretty ex <laughs> could be it's it's expensive, a gift, expensive but, you but know if you don't nice. have anything to get around on uh, when you're when you're at the dock Stuff like that. I mean, these are perfect. Yeah. And if you can't decide on what gift to get that boater in your life, 
um, we would recommend to get a Boat Gear USA gift card. They've they've been great. We've made We've a made couple of orders, orders with, with them, them now. Great customer service. Um, family run, just want to make sure that you're taken care of. Um, so that gift card then your boater can go and purchase whatever they need because if you own a boat, you're going to be needing some. Yeah, and yeah. we partnered with Boat Gear USA yes, uh, for this season. Um, so links below for stuff you can get through them and a link to the yes. Boat Gear USA gift card. Cue music. So that's it guys, that's the 12 top things we think boaters would like as gifts for this 2023 season. We might do this again next year, who knows. And we just want to wish you guys just a really Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays and all the best in the new year. Um, just thanks so much for watching and hanging out with us and uh, we really do appreciate you all and we'll see you in the next episode. Love and happiness to all of you. Cheers. Cheers. If you want suggestions or you think that there are some other suggestions we could make, let us know. Does that make sense? No. No. I don't know what I was trying to say really, but like, yeah. Okay, let's do that again. Yes or no? What are we doing? Oh, we're going to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Yeah, we're going to. Oh, okay, let's end it. Let's do that. Okay, what are we doing? And all the best in the next year in the 2024 year. <laughs>